Hello Web3 TV friends, my name is Ornella Hernandez and today I'm at the Genesis XBT event in Dubai. I'm here with Nate from Kojita Protocol. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> so tell me more about this protocol, what you guys do, what your mission is. So Kojita Protocol is doing the tokenization of real world assets. Uh, we are building the assets and bringing them on chains for everybody around the world to trade with. Uh, which means basically we, uh, we bring treasuries, bonds and stocks there and we make different uh, products. One of course is T-bills which is common here but we also make green bonds so everybody can come and uh, buy and sell green bonds. We're also doing the AI managed uh, fund that's going to look at the interest of uh, different types of investors and based on that uh, reconstruct uh, portfolios using uh, AI models. Okay, so why tokenize bonds and stocks in the first place? What are the benefits? Well, the benefits are numerous. Like, first of all, for different companies that are in crypto space, it's relatively hard for them to go directly to the market when we offer uh, crypto and fiat on and off ramp. But also for the general population, um, it's not impossible to get those assets. Uh, of course it's possible, it's just a big headache. So we are basically lowering... Like, headache? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, imagine that you're like from some small country with not completely developed uh, um, financial systems or even if it's developed, like you have to go through several coops, first from identity verification, then you have to go to your bank and then usually they don't have it, the direct access in that country, so you have to go to another country and connect. You can get it in the end, but it's quite costly in the end, so we're offering just token tokenized assets so you can go just to exchange of course, you still need to do QIC and everything. That's, uh, that's of course still there, and we still have to prove that you're not a criminal or anything, which, which of course is just no-brainer. But it, it actually, uh, you know, it brings some barriers down, and it just makes it easier to invest for people. Okay, and you mentioned green bonds. So, what is that exactly? Why do we want to even invest and look at green bonds? So there are like in general. In traditional markets, the green bonds are the bonds from the companies that are into the green field and those bonds are usually cheaper than or more expensive, depends how you look at it, but basically they have lower uh, interest rate than the general bonds simply because uh, there is a big incentive for financial institutions to invest into the green. Uh, green this is ESG, sustainability yeah, yeah, yeah. incentives. And uh, of course we are offering this on chain because on chain there are no low, lower risk uh, assets that are green, like there are high risk assets that are green and we're offering this as well, so this is an advantage that we are bringing now in the short term. Okay, all right. And on the topic of tokenization, do you think that everything should be tokenized? Should all assets be tokenized on chain? Theoretically, I mean, um, theoretically yes, but first there needs to be a demand. Without demand, there's no point to tokenize everything. I think with tokenization we can tokenize some stuff that otherwise wouldn't be tokenized and also make the access to of some some financial instruments that are right now have, uh, very hardly available to some communities available to them and basically make some financial inclusion towards different communities. Okay, are there any companies or projects that you've learned about that are trying to tokenize something that you never would have thought of doing in the first place? Something weird? I mean, definitely they're, they're tokenizing all kinds of stuff. Um, it's hard to say what would be like especially weird. Like, um, you would uh, guess that art, of course, is there, music and everything. Um, but that's common now to yeah, tokenize art. Yeah. So, right now, the really strange stuff, I can't think of it right now, but I'm sure it exists because the thing is that you really can tokenize everything. So. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm guessing sooner or later it's going to come that you tokenize some careers or something like that, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, one more question. Uh, if you could have any blockchain based superpower, what would it be? What would you want to do? Uh, I think the easiest would be to predict the future. That, that's. <laughs> <laughs> then we know the future and that's okay. it. Predict the, the market ups and downs? That or in general what are going to be the trends and everything, how everything will develop. Um, not just in the market, but also in what uh, governments will do and uh, how you can actually 
you know, use that to make the world better as well. Okay, with too much knowledge comes too much power. <laughs> if you have it, of course, yeah, of course, of course. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today. Well, thank you.